Come on in. everyone welcome to my humble abode today i'm going to take you on a tour of my airbnb so we're starting out in the kitchen area because i just feel like the view from here going that way is a lot nicer so we're going from this direction onwards this airbnb uh took me probably three months to get up and running i'm gonna walk you through all I did to get it up and running in another video, but that's for a different time. Today, I'm gonna show you what we have around. I promise you, it will not be a video of, here is my stove, here is my countertop, because obviously you'll be able to see all those things for yourself. yourself. But what I will be doing is showing you how everything functions and where to find all the different things when you book yes that's the intention so i know you're probably wondering why would i do a youtube channel for an airbnb but i have learned a lot from youtube when i started this airbnb or when i was going to start this airbnb i depended on youtube a lot for information and i do want to pay it forward because i've learned some things for myself which i think will be of good knowledge and will be useful to other people additionally it's good promotion and who doesn't want to promote their business for free so i know a lot of youtubers who do airbnb and they do promote it there and they have gotten some success from it so if it can bring me some success why not i must say for the months you've been operating because we've been up and running for a while it's been good um a lot better than I expected. Maybe it was beginner's luck. So let's see if we can reap some fruit from this labor. So let's go. Right, so this little clip I've inserted here is really a video of how the house looked when it was handed over to us. Yes, I know this was a brand new house that was purchased, but we had quite some issues with the developers and unfortunately when we got it things were a little shabby so i had to put in a lot of manual work um myself and shout out to my mom because she helped me as well i had times that my cousins also passed through and assisted and we had to get the pedal to the metal to fix it up so what you're gonna see now is after all the work that i had to put in to bring it to where it is and yes i did this alone well not alone as i said i had the assistance of my mom shout out to her we did this alone most of it no help from a guy <laughs> no professionals really except for like the electrical work and some of the drilling work but everything else the paint job all the little um trinkets that you're gonna see around we put it all together ourselves so it can be done so stay tuned for the transformation We have the stove area. I'm kidding. I told you I wouldn't do that. So this is a gas stove, but it's stove lit. So boom. Just letting y'all know how to have that function when you get here. We have our sink area with this wonderful pipe that I had installed. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. This here is my drying rack. I do not like the idea of the big plate drainers they're a little outdated but i can understand for persons with bigger families they may need it but for here we're trying to keep things you know a little classy and a little chic that's actually our tagline tell me what you think about that tagline i'm thinking of oh, where luxury meets affordability and don't tell me that you're not seeing all the luxury because we are going to get there, it takes time. I'm not exactly where I wanna be yet in terms of having everything up and running, but we're gonna get there. Come along on that journey with me when we're doing all the upgrades. So this work in progress and let this be your first lesson. 
It doesn't have to be perfect for you to start. So, our kitchen mirror over here, you'll get a fully stocked cabinet with all the glass where you need. And yes, we use glass because you know what they say about plastic and it being poisonous and dangerous in this day and age. So you are provided with all you need here, all the plates, bowls. You may have to drink soup twice, but hey, you have your bowls nonetheless. And if you like baking like me, I have a little baking dish for those persons who might want to make some banana bread or pumpkin spice pudding, who knows. <laughs> Over here, you will have all your utensils, fork, spoon, you know, take up your little eyes, open your bottles. If you need to do some big cooking, we have all that you need. That has some baking dishes, nothing too special there. And here we have all the pots and pans that you need to get your cooking on because like I said, if you're like me and you love to cook, I got you, okay? I got you. So this is my little goodie basket that I give to all my guests. I'm missing two drinks right now. I guess in our rush, we forgot to put that in there, but it normally comes with all this and two small juices. But if you do book your stay longer than seven days, you also get a complimentary bottle of champagne. Yay! <laughs> And as you can see here, I have my little paper towel holder. I'm gonna do another video walkthrough with where I got all the things that I used in here. Some of them I had to get a little creative, so stay tuned for that. You are gonna love that video if you plan on doing an Airbnb because it's gonna help you in setting up your Airbnb in an affordable way. So as you can see, I like to keep the counter very clear. So I need y'all's opinion on whether or not you think I should move my microwave and put it over on the other side. Comment below and let me know. So I'll take you on the other side. Pretty much the electronic stuff I kept over here. This is where we'd have our wash and dry combo, but we do not offer in unit washing at the moment. There are other Airbnbs that do that, a little more on the pricey side. So for ours, that's not one of the amenities you get here and our coffee maker and my grill you know how when you're getting married they say you should get something blue something new something old something borrowed something new well that's my something old <laughs> everything else in here is pretty new and you're gonna see in a few that i have used blue as my accent color so yeah i got married to this house so let's come with me this is our dining area. Please keep all eating here. It's very comfortable. Believe me. So you sit here, you eat, you dine. And then, after you're done eating, we can take things into the living room. So for all my girls and guys, this area is a nice little corner for you and you can get a full view of yourself with our whole dining area right here. So... Yeah, get your groove on. Now, all right, so now let's go to one of my favorite, favorite, favorite parts in this house, and it's my living room. Come along. Living room area. I try to keep it with um, neutral type colors. Black and white is my color scheme. I'm sure you can tell by now. You know how it goes when you have a black and white, you have to add that solid, nice gray color. And what is funny is that I planned on keeping everything black and white with the grays when I got this table. I did not realize it had gold rims and when I got it I was a little disappointed because I wanted to keep everything black and white and it's so funny that my painting has gold my mirror over there has gold so everything has now tied in so beautifully now we are at the black white and gold color scheme and blue as I told you is my pop of color my little accent color right here and it works well it functions this corner over here which is one of my favorite corners is obviously my entrance way and when you're walking by just do a quick check before you head out the door make sure everything is in place and this little thing right here i thought it would be cute to have it to hold other keys just so you don't lose it and it would also be nice if we could pop our shoes under here i'm gonna get a nice little basket i think 
Let me know which color you think I should get because I've been undecided on that. If you should go black and white or a woven type basket to have there that stores shoes because I think that's what this corner here is missing. But outside of that, I think everything else is fine. This wall over here, I know it looks a little awkward with painting on this side, but it's actually covering my breaker box. So it doesn't look distasteful. And then now we've ended up with this blank wall. I need your opinion. Like I said, I'm not done work in progress. Do you think, let me know, I should have another plant here? I love these little plant accent pieces. That's a thing to do in 2023. So another big plant here that's my least favorite of the things I'm gonna say next. Or a big lamp, one of those big standing lamps. So it will almost look like it's accentuating the wall because it will come from here and it will rotate to my head so it can move. Or I was thinking of very small lights which attach to the wall and you can touch them and they add a lot of color. And the last thing is to add another painting here. One that's a little contrasting to this. My intention initially was to have one of those paintings that is split in three. You know those continuous paintings that stretches across the whole wall? That was my intention. But since I had this, I just added it there and I didn't know where else to put it right now. So instead of getting rid of it and finding one of those paintings that is split in three or five, I feel like having something else in the space here would really make it pop. So let me know. Uh, just to let you guys know what we're planning to do with this space in the future, I want to add beams to the top, four of them, two to the corners to have those recessed lights and two here, one that I can have a nice ceiling fan hanging from and one hanging over the dining counter with the other recess lights hanging down there. And I think the memes are the best thing to use because the ceiling is kind of high and I don't want that dangling thing coming all the way down like the Chamber of Secrets from Harry Potter. So let me know if you think that's a good idea. Come with me, let's go to the rest of the house. One of everybody's favorite sections uh, is the bathroom here. Um, and there's this little accent wall here because it was actually plain when I got in. And I thought it needed a pop. Like I said in my next video, I'm going to walk you guys through how I did the stuff in here. So right now, I think it's very functional and cozy. I have a huge upgrade coming for it because I do want to get the glass doors right now because as you know this takes a little maintenance but we're gonna get there one step at a time one was not built in one day so our area right here I had these stick on shelves or shower caddies I think they are just one of the coolest inventions ever and it works quite well hot water cold water everything So now we're gonna go into the bedroom where all the magic happens. Let's go. Welcome. Are you hot? I'm feeling a little hot. So let's chill down a little. A little air conditioning while we get the party started. So pretty simple bedroom. We just wanted to keep it nice and comfy and so it's not your usual bedside table as a matter of fact what i really wanted to do was have those floating night tables and that's why i got this which is just really a placeholder until such time but tell me what you think if i should actually get those two floating night tables or i should just keep this or get another one of these to put on the other side with another lamp but the intention is really to not have it clustered especially since it's small so that you feel comfy and not all clipped up together so our closet does have everything you need in terms of 
an iron board, an iron, a steamer, um, hanger. Thank you so much for sticking around for the tour. I'm back in my favorite part of the house. This couch is super, super, super comfortable. You can fall asleep here, trust me. I think that's what I'm going to do now. So remember to let me do the usual, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Ah! <laughs> Can't believe I'm saying that, guys. And stick around for the next video. The next video, I'm going to walk you guys through where I was able to buy all my pieces or how I got my pieces put together, you are gonna be so shocked at some of the crazy things I had to do to come up with these ideas. Trust me, you are not gonna wanna miss it. So thanks, until next time.